bitch up, mate. <laughs> Stack that bitch up, mate. <laughs> Yeah, truth can't be told, it gotta be realized. Uh, damn it. The truth can't be told, it gotta be realized. Freedom ain't free, it ain't legalized. Truth can't be told, it gotta be realized. Freedom ain't free, it ain't realized. Freedom ain't free, it ain't realized. Freedom ain't, free, it, ain't it ain't legalized. Realize, realize. Freedom ain't free, it ain't legalized. Real eyes, realize. Freedom ain't free, it ain't legalized. Real eyes, realize. Realize. Yeah, yeah, slavery was a long time ago, how? Same motherfuckers still here right now. Colonized on our land, they ahead of us. Changed our name so much, they scared of us. Children of the sun, y'all don't compare to us. Pale face people, this ain't y'all area. Talking about America. Pale face people, this ain't y'all area. Even up the playing field, bitch, I'm darn. How you a victim, bitch, you a Karen. Cognitive dissonance, you don't need sperm. You got white privilege, so you don't need sperm. And all my good brothers and sisters of the feather. And again, see, I see, uh, I must have had like four haters. Must have been like four haters watching. It's like, oh shit, it's just Lotus. We had it. Let's get our cognitive dissident, uh, pseudo original, uh, what does it say right there? American Fraternal Secret Society behinds up out of here. Yeah, get your American Fraternal Secret Society to behinds up out of here. See, unfortunately, you know, 
in this community that was formulated many years ago, some crumbs fell on the floor and the roaches have moved in. Roaches, I am the boots, okay? I am the boots that's gonna stomp you. Like Will Smith who slapped uh, Chris Rock, stomp them roaches on Men in Black One. You getting stomped out. Night, night. Night, night. It's almost 2 a.m., y'all. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. 2 a.m. Well, almost. <laughs> so this is for the late night. Uh, I'm not going to be on too long. We got our sister Empress over there. She doing her thing, getting it in. I don't know anybody else if they live, uh, still live doing their thing. But uh, this is... Uh, the burlesque degree, like I said, this is going to be a continual thing of exposing the burlesque degree. And as I mentioned, the first one on the list of the burlesque degree. Yeah, just go read the title. Read them in week. So let all the haters know. I'm on your head now. Told y'all last month I'm unhinged. Y'all don't know what your info. Don't mess with little info. Better ask people in my city. Better ask people in Pasadena, California. Pasakanga. I am the wrong one. All right. Did I turn it all the way down? Okay, I still got it going in the background like that. Nice and smooth. Ah, let me get my water ready. <clears throat> Allow me to clear my throat. Uh, last week, in case you missed it, let me show a little bit of uh, last week. Uh, last week, you saw for the first time in the Aboriginal community. A member of the Aboriginal show real Aboriginal, what they call Tatarian. It's not called Tatarian. And we can't use any names with prefixes and suffixes or any of these names. So we have to find how to say building in whichever language is connected to whatever tribe you feel that you are a part of. All right, so the information that I'm giving today is information that I have gone over for about 13 years. For 13 years, I have had the great deal of discussing this specific American fraternal secret society that people didn't know was a secret society. Well, it's because that word secret society ain't really a secret. It's a society, but it ain't secret. You know why? Secrets have no words. Secrets have no names. You know why? Because it's a secret. If you look up the motto for the Royal Society, you will see that it says Nullius in verba. Y'all know what that means? You have rough translations of it. You had that globe tarred space head idiot say it meant go find out for yourself. You had uh, some people on Wikipedia lie and say that it means take nobody's word for it. No, we know what null and void means. Null and void. Null and void. You know, you know, nullius with the yes at the end gives a, an exaggeration of it. It's basically saying no in a capital N in a capital O. In verba. You all know what a verb is? I had to go over verbs and proverbs and 
go over all that good old grammatical stuff that was created in the late 19th century, along with diacritical marks, along with prefixes and suffixes, the late 19th century, early 20th century. Yeah, all this is coming soon. That's all burlesque degree. That's right. So y'all see it again. Y'all see it. Real, what they call ancient Tatarian structure, which is not called Tatarian, because if you go Google Tatarian right now, Hillary Clinton, oh, bogus ass, big pop sickle blown up and smashed into the ground. Uh, Bonks Adventure head pops up, dressed up in some type of regalia, and they'll make you think these are the Tartarian people. Oh, keep digging too. Look that stuff up, y'all. Look up who the Tartarian people are over there in Europe. They have the title Tartarian. So every time somebody says ancient Tartarian civilization, you're talking about them. But if you had the real knowledge of this great land, you wouldn't call it that. You would address it by its proper name. But since I know people don't know it, and I know it, y'all will have to wait for the third American horror show. That's just how it is. For free, I'm giving this. Uh, The burlesque degree is going to be the total explanation of the people who are in control right now. The people who were in control in the past and the people who want to maintain control in the future. That's what ye and Kyrie Irving is going through today. The people call themselves all kind of names. People just go along and call them. Just call them what they really are. Seljuk Turk. Mamaluk. Okguk Turk. Genisarius. They sorry behinds. Call them what they really are. Remove the dates. Call them what they really are. They are the burlesque degree. And things that pertain to the burlesque degree. So you see here. The Coleman Manufacturing Company. Let me get it. Where am I at? Where am I at? Come with me. I'm Mary. There he is. And when I finish talking about a small nation of people, and Mr. Coleman here, Warren C. Coleman, that is, when I finish, I will give my own personal dissertation of a small nation. A small nation. One more time, a small nation. Where is the origin of how the information of the Coleman Manufacturing Company became available for the Aboriginal community by way of the tube? Yeah, I'm bringing that back too. I'm bringing it all back. Apparently, I have to take things all the way back and baby step so everyone can understand what's really going on. So I'm gonna have to get right to it, y'all, because my time is valuable and I gotta get back out there and get it. So here, before before I even give, I ain't even making it to the introduction yet. Here, right here, okay? I want everybody to understand this. Correlation chart for the verses of the flu gale, 1834, Mm-mm-mm. that's not the real date, in Cairo, 1925, mm-hmm. real date, editions of the Quran. Now, you can go into the description area and you will see everything lined up that I'm gonna read for you. I'm gonna go over this stuff. I'm gonna make it real simple. We're going to bring it right back around to where they started using this to brainwash our people. What we call the Christian Bible, the Holy Bible, they put it out in 1928. And 
it did not make its way into our communities and it be to be accepted until the years, the decades of the 1940s and the 1950s. Personally, my father was born in the 1950s and my father didn't convert to any of this stuff until I was born in 1981. Again, you see here, correlation chart for the verses of the Quran. Flugel, 1834, we're going to see what's going on with that. In Cairo, 1925, editions of the Quran. Let's go. the music all right all right Let me turn this down all right make sure i'm loud and clear okay okay so we see here i just want to make sure I, I read these specific parts so it's understood okay i want to make sure so what i'm reading is right after riding the goat which is talking about riding a mechanical goat right again the burlesque degree okay the people who we call jew ashkenaz kezar oku turk il kaganate kaganate impersonators of the first americans using these siberian sicilians and so on such as iron ice cody and hundreds more in hollywood they're all connected it's all the same thing but it don't stop there. Let's see what it says. Again, for those who did not catch the burlesque degree videos that I read before, you might want to pause it right here. Go back and watch that and then come back here to right now. Again, many burlesque degrees remained informal entertainments put on by individual lodges but some took on a life of their own and turned into societies in their own right. Okay? So when you hear people saying, gotta claim a nation, you gotta do all this, that, and the third, I'm giving you the origin. You're getting it right here again. Only getting it on here on Supreme Chief Holiday's channel and on my agitator channel. I'm, I'm, I'm about to start busting out my agitator channel Go check out my agitator channel and prepare to be agitated because gloves are off on that channel. Anybody can get it. Freemasonry. Always quick to establish new orders. They just making up stuff as they go along. Took the lead in this department with at least three major burlesque branches. Do you hear it? I'm giving it to you again. Let's go back to the image. Where is it at? Bring it to me. There it is. Correlation chart for the verses of the Flugel, 1834. <laughs> We're going to find out what's really going on with that. And Cairo, 1925. 
1925 editions of the Quran. Okay. Okay. Well, it feels good to put out real information, to present real knowledge for everyone, to not be a part of a cult, to not try and be a cult leader, to not try and be a burlesque degree. Yeah, major burlesque branches. What is the first one on there? I told y'all. I told y'all, what's the first one on a burlesque degree? The ancient Arabic order of nobles of the mystic shrine. That is the Shriners. Oop, we know some people that are Shriners. Yes, we do. And keep in mind, the ones who we call Jew, who are the founders of the burlesque degree, this is the founding of their influence on the world. Yes. Yes, them, they are the burlesque degree. So what is this ancient order? And let's see what else it says about this ancient order. Let's see what it says down here. As you go down to the bottom, it says, uh, wow, yes, it says that. So we'll skip down. This is a similar profusion of burlesque degrees in odd fellowship oh yeah oh wait when i bust out odd fellowship coming soon next year including the imperial order of mushkovitz oh they say the west coast of america was russia and alaska and all that stuff i got something for you too and the Oriental Order of Humility and Perfection. Yeah, humility and perfection. So when you see the actors out there doing humiliation rituals and you're thinking that humility and perfection sounds like a cool thing, that's all right. That's all good. That's that's something that sounds good. No. You see the actors when they do that? That's what they're that's what they're participating in. The burlesque degree. Continue underwent consolidation in 1902. Okay. Okay. So what do we have to say about this Gustav Lugel stuff? We're seeing in this book, 1902 into the ancient mystic order of Samaritan, Samaritans, the Knights of Pythias had their dramatic order of Knights of Coruscant, and the red man, or their order of haymakers. Ah, interesting. Ah, we get them dad jokes in. So even the Knights of Columbus climbed aboard the burlesque bandwagon with the international order of Alhambra. Yeah, man, y'all, y'all, hey, all y'all had to do was keep it real. Be a thousand and give credit to the original content creator, the content provider, the content maker. That's all people had to do. That's all you had to do. Now you about to get a beat. Now you about to get beat, bruised. You about to lose limbs. You probably gonna start pulling out hair. All that. Oh yeah, yeah. See ancient Arabic order of nobles of the mystic shrine. Guess what I have in this book? I have a whole part dedicated to that. And that will be next because this ancient Arabic order of nobles of the mystic shrine needs to be dealt with because these are the people who are gatekeeping, infiltrating groups on social media sites, on YouTube and perverting perverting the aboriginal community oh yeah oh yeah let me take a little break let me let it resonate Where my little break button at
All right, I'm waiting for this one thing to load up. Let me see if it loads up here fast. Nah, come on. Hurry up. Boy, these iPhones, man, I tell you, man. They pump them up. They charge you an arm, a testicle, and an eyeball. And then, uh, after a year, the phone turns into a damn microwave and a heater. You can heat up popcorn with how hot these phones get. You be popping popcorn. I hope you got your popcorn ready. <laughs> I sure hope. All right, come on, man. You're going to take that long? There we go. There we go. Yeah, many years ago, I believe it was uh, 2015. 2015. uh, I had the privilege of interviewing Baba Walter Williams. I call Uncle Wally. And we talked about his book, The Historical Origin of Islam. Right? And you see the quote, it's at the bottom. It says, there has never been a man that ever walked the earth in human form by the name of Muhammad, the prophet of traditional Islam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. The conversations I have with Walter Williams about that and the information that he shared on the interview, phenomenal. And guess what? Next year, I will start playing my old blog talk stuff oh yeah you're gonna hear all kind of interviews with people from all over the world you're gonna hear a great deal of information you're gonna hear a lot of a lot of people and some elders who i will be bringing into the community um elders that have traveled all around the world some have worked on sites in other countries and have examined sites in their own state and have examined what sites are the where the sites are in southern mexico as in chicken eats and all that and so on so you're gonna get yeah, you're gonna get real archaeologists real people that have traveled around the world really about that life you're gonna get real real information yes yeah, coming and it will be on tribe up channel oh yeah and i will take bits and pieces of it you know and i'll bring them over here So again, you see it. All right. So before I uh, before I get to uh, really busting out this information, y'all, go to the description. Read along with me, please. Take a moment and read along. Let me pull it up here so we can see what's going on here. What's what's going on here? Let's see. Okay, Barbara Walter Williams, as I call him, Uncle Wally, debunked the Quran many years ago. I had the privilege of interviewing this elder in 2015. But let's go on further and let's see what information is connected to this so-called Gustav Lugel. Before I read that, it says, the life of Ibn al-Arabi, Ibn al-Arabi, <laughs> that's Yiddish, by the way, is clearly the projected life of the founder of Islam. This is from Baba Walter Williams' book. Dr. Williams' book is clear on the reconquest of Northeast Africa by Europeans pretending to be Arabs. The Seljuk Turkeys. Yes, the original Jive Turkeys are the ones who created the burlesque degree. And below that, you see Arabic versus Yiddish Creole. Mother tongue versus Yiddish Jew. To be Versus the Amiyats. There are three forms of the Amiyats. And I will be going over that later. We will also go over 
orthography. We'll be dealing with cryptography. One of these are my favorite subjects, too, by the way. My favorite topics in the world. Orthography, cryptography, and I'm not even going to say the other one. I'm just going to say it. Okay, so the correct, we're dealing with linguistics here. And some people um, don't like dealing with these things because this destroys their burlesque degree nonsense that they try and promote. So when it comes to linguistics, this is the missing link monkey wrench in their, what is it? Seljuk turkeys. That's right. Seljuk turkeys. Okguk Turk, who we call Jew. <laughs> and in the to be da we yeah to be da we yeah daft daft also plural daft 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 means book now i'm a little rusty in my to be da we yeah in my hadden diwa you know spoken by the abada the the abada the amarar the kusa il well, y'all get the point. Um, Yiddish Jew, incorrect. So here is the incorrect. Kishtab, Kittib, and Kit Kishtab, Kishtab. <laughs> They'll say means book. That is Yiddish. And they have made oxy with the Yiddish. They get all fancy with it. They make all kind of past particular presence now. They do all the extra stuff. But when it comes to the mother tongue, it's just daft. Daft. Yep, there, there I go using the real tongue. It's daft. They'll say daft. Okay. All right. Okay. So, I can barely see this. Kitab, book. Kitib, right. Press, present. Akantib, past. Aktib. Now, I always forget the part. It could be particle or participle. Yeah, I clicked the thing off. Hold on, y'all. Where were we at? Where were we? Aktib, part. Particle or participle. So it, it, you know, they don't show the whole thing. Kitab, the noun, action noun, when a person is writing, is kishtub. Then we have the male, the way the male says it, the cause is zakatib. Pass, atkatab. But, you know, I couldn't just stop there. So that's for book and writing, and that's just with. To be that we yet versus Yiddish. <laughs> and in the mother tongue, to be that we yet, to say brother is son. Some will say, uh, e even in the hieroglyph, which was created, is also Yiddish, created by the Burlesque degree. They'll say sin, S E N. Or just S N for brother. They put that in that hieroglyph lies that they created too, by the way. And they took it from to be that So you have son, my brother. Son. Son that when they have that I sound is pertaining to a plural or, or like in communication. That is the mother tongue. That is to be that When it comes to Yiddish, they say ak. They say my brother, my ak. Ak, A H K, Ak. That is Yiddish. All right. You, if you stand with ye, I'm saying you're not gonna stand with that. You stand with Kyrie, even though what's going on, they they kind of straddling the fence right now. You're not standing with that. Now we have Tafina versus the Amiyat. When actually only two. Of the Amiyats. Uh, I'll, I'll spoil one of them. The Mustaquafin. You know. I'm not even looking at reading things. You don't even see it in the description. 
I know most of this stuff by heart. I used to go to the mosque and do salat and all that stuff too. Y'all in trouble. Correct. You have the ara, uru, to write. And when you say that, you have to use a Amazigh, a Tamasigh accent because that's where it comes from. And the last time I checked, I had arguments with people saying Berbers are not aboriginals. If that's the case, then why are people trying to use something that originally comes from the Berber, but they're using the Yiddish Creole form created by the Jews? Yeah. Ouch. Uh, as the wise uh, Cream Chief Holiday would say, walk it off. So we have mm, Raka, Raka, mm, Raka, to write a note. And we have Zim, you say Zim, mm, Zim, mm. now they might have the Zim, ma, or Zim, ma sound to it, because that's Berber. You would have to listen to a person speak, that is what they call Berber. And not those Jews who are over there acting like they're Berbers, not the Seljuk turkeys, not the Seljuk jive turkeys, you know, the real Mamelukes, the real eunuchs. Okay. <sighs> to write official documents, official documents. Hmm, with the Quran, not be considered an official document? Hmm. Ouch. Okay, so then you have Kuyad. 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 Is that did I just give everybody what means write down and legal? Is this getting to the jurist? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, man, y'all gonna love when I play the blog talk stuff. Y'all gonna love it. Origin of Yiddish? Still under investigation. I don't let anything slide. I don't care what I discover. It has to be cross-referenced. I have to compare and contrast and make sure the information is accurate. If the data does not compute, my lips will stay mute. And the incorrect version of that is, but again, this is the Tafina. This is the one they call Berber, the Tamazig women, Amazig men, nation called... The Dula, the Dula, gotta kind of like not roll the tongue. The <laughs> Dula, the Dula. Okay. Al, Al, Tab, Al Shtab, or just Katip, 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 or Katip, for book. And later on, I will go over the Fustat, which is also another language involved. The other languages involved too in due time, y'all. This, like I said, all will be revealed. But there's more. Yes, we have Gustav Liberace. Yeah, the real or the real originator of the Quran had the middle name Liberace. Gustav Liberace Flugel. Born, who cares? Died, who gives a damn? German Orientalist. Ah, burlesque degree. French German Center. French Germans created the AIU. Yes, 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 yes. In 1864, he was admitted to the foreign member of the Bavarian Academy of Sciences. Flugel's main work was the creation of the bibliographic and encyclopedic lexicon of Haji Kahalfa. Wait, wait, wait. Don't they say that California kind of comes from that? Burlesque degree. With Latin translation, particular importance was attached to his edition of the Quran. It has an at the end. Yeah. What if I tell you people have been pronouncing that wrong all the time? Cure. Cure. An. Cure. An. 
Yes. Yes. Printed in Leipzig in 1893. Now, let me go back here. See, they try and lie and say that he made a Quran in 1834. They love putting things before the mud flood reset. They love putting things before the 1860s to give further validation for their burlesque degree. <sighs> 1893, uh, uh, Gustav Liberace Flugel was dead. So what the fuck? He, he his ghost did his did his Asuk Asuksani pop back up and float into the airwaves of Jive Turkey of Jive Seljuk Turkey and print this? Huh? I guess that's why people who push this burlesque degree are just so spiritual. Oh, can I get a hallelujah? Oh, can I get a bismillah? By the printer and publisher. Wait a minute. Hold up. Something ain't right. In the words of Omoshongo, what he said when we read this stuff back in 2014 and 2015, we have a problem here. Didn't it say Flugel wrote it in 1834? And then mystically, magically popped out of his casket through his little peedy wee straw pee hole, and then write this nonsense that they call a co a Quran, huh? Make it make sense. Y'all don't understand me, goddamn it. Carl Kristoff Traugolt. Gott, yeah, Gott. Do y'all know what that means in the German language? Gott. <laughs> Tauchnitz, the real creator of the Quran. This made a reliable Quranic text available for the first time to European science. Oh man, this is just part one, y'all. And unfortunately, it's about to end soon. I know, I know, I know. Part two going to be lit. Yes, because it's going to be a whole lot of wet cheeks from the tears flowing out of their eyes that their burlesque degree behinds are getting exposed. Check out UBTV. He's exposing it too. This is no joke at all. It's a jive cell juke turkey. Burlesque degree. In the following years, almost all translations into European languages were based on Flugel's edition. And again, almost all translations into European languages, that's that pie in the sky, daddy. Honorable admiration to my brother Libra son for dropping that coin phrase that he coined. That's that pie in the sky, daddy. Flugel. That's how y'all got to say his name from now. Flugel. <laughs> but it was published by Carl Christoph Traugott. Tauchnitz Mein Kampf. All books prior have no empirical data. Part two, we will go over each and every single Quran, 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 burlesque degree nonsense. Well, let's just let's just get to it. Let, let me let me stop. Let me just get to it. Okay, I didn't even need water for this, y'all, because this is like, this is, this is heaven for me, y'all, this is, uh, this is heaven, you know what I'm saying, 
it's, it's it really is. I love it. Okay. All right. So all books prior have no empirical data. The handwritten Qurans are 20th century creations. <laughs> the Quran in Leipzig, 1893, as I mentioned earlier, flew gale, flew out of his little peedy wee straw pee hole and bee hole and magically would be, went into the body of Carl Christoph Trogot Tachnitz in printed and published the Quran. Con, 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 wait, 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 wait. Concordantiae, Korani, Arab, Arabicae, <laughs> Leipzig, Bread Hill. It's kind of small, y'all, so bear with me. 1898. They try and slide in that year, 1834, and all of it, but we all know. We know. Well, yeah, now y'all know. Eight. 1898 making of Arabic 1898 the making of Arabic Kitab al Furhist Furhist again Kitab al Furhist that's the fur yeah yep eat that how's it taste mm good luck by Ishak al Nadim in his edition, Flugel Leipzig in Vogel. Damn, they didn't pull out a Vogel out of nowhere. Damn, they, I guess they pulled that up out of the cloud that uh, that donkey that was burned with that one dude during the time of supposedly, you know, saying the golden age of Islam and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going down. It's going down. Publish. Postonomously, post, post, postonomously, postonomously. <laughs> yeah, look that word up. Have some fun. Okay, so I made edits to this to cut out the lies created by the burlesque degree. Oh, oh wait, it doesn't stop there. So after that, I shared all the sources of this. So for everybody, type this in, look it up, dig into it, and you will never look at the Quran the same way. So other than the stuff that you'll have to dig into and look into, and they're very misleading, it's really 1889 when, when they put this stuff together. It's, that's, just, that's just what it is, you know. So let me get down to the bottom. All right, so when it comes to the information presented to us, the real, real stuff, you have Andrew Rippon, you know what I'm saying? Uh... It, oh, that's that's 2006. Damn. All bad. The Blackwell Companion to the Quran, Blackwell Publishing. Yeah, all bad. A.B. Rines or Reen, Rines or whatever. George Edwin Rines edition in 1920. Gustav Flugel. That's right. Gustav Liberach Flugel. Hitler uncle and weird uh, stuff going on or whoever he is. You know what I mean? The real one, uh, whatever's going on. I know people are going to try and pull the uh, blacky black thing. They're going to say, oh, they was really melanated stuff. Uh-uh. Nuh-uh. Ain't working. I don't care. It ain't working. They made this nonsense up. So we have 1920. The uh, Gustav Liberich Ratchet Flugel Encyclopedia Americana. 1920, I wonder who that is connected to in Americana. Yeah. Burlesque degree. American Fraternal Secret Societies exposed. Are you a part of the cult called the Burlesque degree? Call 1 800. Get your damn mind right. So then we have. Bayard Dodge, 1970, the Fihrist of Al Nadim. <laughs> Say it like the, the Yiddish speaking people. Uh, a 10th century survey of Muslim culture. If it's a 10th century survey, why the 
Hell was it written in 1970? <sighs> Volume 2, huh? Translated by Dodge. New York and London. Columbia University Press. And they even give you the pages. 877, 890. Yeah. Uh-huh. Concordantiae. Accord. Concordantiae. Korani. See how they spell it too? C O R A N I. Arabicae. Leipzig, 1942. Really, I mean, 1842. Really, 1898. And they have digitized it. And you're looking at the digitized image as we speak. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. So, my good brothers and sisters of the feather. The reason why many are uh, upset and the cognitive dissonance and jealous and make sure that it's not shared. I personally don't you know, really put stuff out to share it that much or whatever. Is because I does this. And I does it well. And again, I have two eyes, no use in y'all. Okay? Two eyes, no use in y'all. No you in y'all. Two eyes. So anybody running around saying, says I too much. Says he, that's because I put in hours. I dedicated hours to doing this. This is my work. This is my work. Okay? All right. And trust me, it gets better. It gets exciting. It gets hard. It's going to be tears. It's going to be a real tear jerker. Yeah. It's going to be a real tear jerker. Burlesque degree, ancient Arabic order of nobles of the mystic shriners, the A-A-O-N-M-S, Quran debunked. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.